Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mari aka Mariam aka Ali and we're back at it with another video. So today's video is a hair oil recipe video, probably one of my favorite, one of my best. So for this recipe we will need some cloves, a few pieces and we will also need some rosemary. I honestly got this from the supermarket, it was quite cheap, I think 50 Kenya shillings. So personally, I prefer using the fresh rosemary, not the dried or the powder form. This is the route I normally follow, but you can use any. So cloves contain a variety of useful compounds, but its main active ingredient is a chemical known as eugenol. Eugenol is credited with potent antimicrobial, antiseptic, and anti-inflammatory properties. Moreover, cloves are rich in a number of nutrients required for hair growth, including potassium, sodium, omega-3 fatty acids, iron, manganese, vitamin K, vitamin C, iodine, and fiber. So, with the presence of vitamin K in cloves, there is better blood circulation, which stimulates hair growth. In addition, its anti-inflammatory properties help further thicken the hair, its antifungal and antimicrobial properties can help protect the scalp from dandruff and fungal infections that contribute to hair loss. Aside from this, because it is rich in phytonutrients that nourish, strengthen, and revitalize dominant follicles, it has the capacity to promote new hair growth. It has the capacity to treat scalp conditions like ringworm. It also has the capacity to treat head lice according to studies and lastly and most importantly it can help to do away with free radicals on the scalp as it has the capacity to reduce oxidative stress and this thereby helps in preventing premature grain of the hair so the other thing that we're going to use is the extra virgin olive oil which is also my favorite i normally use this as a carrier oil because of different reasons including the fact that it is packed with beneficial antioxidants and fatty acids that help nourish and protect your hair and the likes of vitamin E of which the combination of these beneficial components make it a great moisturizer and conditioner for your hair as well. As usual again we're going to use the cold press method to make this and this would include the use of a blender. Last but not least, we have our rosemary and the benefits of rosemary are quite a number just like for the cloves including it has an active ingredient called canosic acid which can help in healing tissues and nerve damage which in turn can restore hair growth and protect your hair against hair loss. According to recent studies, rosemary also directly helps protect against hair loss and it has been compared to the likes of minoxidil and rogaine um, and the studies did show that it has the capacity to help people who suffer from pattern baldness due to testosterone it also possesses anti-inflammatory and antifungal properties which can help to do away with dandruff and scalp infections and aside from this, it can also help to do away with split ends. Moreover, it even helps to stimulate blood circulation on your scalp, thereby stimulating your follicles to produce more growth and also strengthen your hair. It also has the capacity to reduce scalp inflammation. And last but not least, rosemary oil can be used to prevent premature grain. So what we're currently doing is simply removing the leaves from the branch because we're just going to use the leaves alone. So guys, the best way to remove these leaves is so simple. So you would take the branch itself and then just pull down the leaves and so let them glide down. It is so easy, easy peasy instead of having to pluck them one by one to make your work way easier thank me later so at this point i just collected both of my ingredients and went to rinse them a bit because guys they always contain dust packed or not 
so yeah i have to ensure that they work clean after rinsing them well i pour them both into the blender and now we are going to our next part of the process which is blending them with the olive oil we will now add our carrier oil into the blender as well so you'll add in the olive oil as per your personal choice perhaps depending on the amount that you would wish to make or in relation to the amount of cloves and rosemary leaves you have personally i was just trying to make a small amount for one of my small bottles so i didn't add, add much um just enough at this point i was just trying to ensure that all the rosemary leaves were in the oil to ensure that the blending took place smoothly i then blended my nutrients all together at low speed until satisfactory now we will get to a boil and pour our mixture into it as you can see it looks milky considering we had just rinsed our ingredients prior blending them and it's also an indicator of some form of emulsification um having taken place so what we're going to do is that we're going to put this mixture of ours in a pan in order to separate whatever water residue from our oil so i decided to add some extra virgin olive oil in there just to have more of that but it's not necessarily a necessity so on low heat we are just going to stir our mixture and as you can see guys this i had first let it sit for a minute and as you can see the water is already separating from the oil as you can see it is clearer right now so you will keep stirring um the essence of continuously stirring is to prevent the leaves and the cloves from being um overcooked or simply being cooked because you do not want to lose any nutrients we'll have to constantly stir so when you notice that your rosemary leaves have started changing color or perhaps they have started um, getting some form of small small holes like some form of perforation you're good to go so now we will move to the last part of the process which is saving our oil so, so i forgot to press and pause um for that specific segment but guys it is very easy you can use a strainer of any kind be it the normal kind that i used here or a cheesecloth and you will drain that out and these are our results honestly guys it looks so beautiful it's giving liquid gold it smells so good honestly this is the most um good smelling oil i have created so far so be sure to try it out um it possesses so many benefits like i said earlier and if you do do let me know show your girl some love and if you like this specific video do like share subscribe and look out for more T -I -T -I -T. Yeah.